I refuse to charge anyone for any of the material that I provide for you here on YouTube or even on streaming services. But I do want to go ahead and thank the vendors that I have that sponsor my channel. And in this particular one, for this one, I have Extreme Heaters that is sponsoring this particular video or podcast. And with Extreme Heaters, this brand is phenomenal for those of you that want to go ahead and camp in what we would call a extreme weather in colder weather. This will allow you to have things not freeze. They have different sizes. I will have a link down below for this product as well as a discount code that is good up until January 31st of 2025. So in the event that you are camping in extreme weather, this is a product that you must have. So thank you to my sponsor, Extreme Heaters. Welcome back everyone. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here with everything RV's podcast. And I bring this podcast to you every week, trying to bring you the information you need so you can go out and make memories that last a lifetime. And today, I tell you, I've got an exciting guest, well, actually two guests, uh, to go over something that people ask me all the time about running two air conditioners and not being on 50 amp service. So without uh, further ado, let me go ahead and bring on our guests. We've got Doug and Mike here. And let me start with Doug, if you'd like to go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, tell sure. the listeners who you are and all about you. Okay, well, uh, first of all, it's great to be here. And of course, Mike and I, uh, Mike Sokol, who everyone else should see on the screen is actually Mr. RV Electricity. And uh, it seems that so much has happened uh, with our lives over the last few years. Uh, basically, we have uh, one of the top soft starts Actually, Amazon says that our soft start is more five-star reviews than anybody else. And that's a wired in soft start. And I'll explain what a soft start does in a minute. Maybe I should let Mike do that actually, but let me just tease it up. As you were saying, a lot of people really want to be able to run two air conditioners on 30 amp and, uh, or on th two air conditioners on a generator. And a lot of times uh, they're frustrated in doing that. Our product enables you to do that. What they always were saying to us, they were coming to us for the last five years saying, hey, you know, um, I'm not a do-it-yourselfer. Is there anything simpler? Can you design something that you could just plug into the power pedestal and I could run two air conditioners on 30 amps? Because there's a lot of parks that only have 30 amps. Or could I uh, plug it into a generator and maybe a small generator? Help me understand uh, how, what they were asking me is, how can I go ahead and try to help them? And after years, and I mean years, and a lot of testing, a lot of frustration, and Mike can tell you about a lot of testing, but we have developed the soft startup that is really plug and play, simple to uh, use product. And with that, I'd like to be able to uh, maybe somehow segue to Mike, because what we did is we realized there were really four problems that most RVers were dealing with. <clears throat> Am I going on too long? Or do you, you want me to no, listen, this is all about yeah. all about you guys. Okay, so four basic problems that most RVers are trying to do. And it's not just starting two air conditioners on 30 amp, uh, because of course you can do that on 50 amp, but two air conditioners on even a 3000 watt generator or one AC with a 2200 watt generator or one AC with a 20 amp like home, home cord when you're mooch docking. We were able to solve all of those problems with the soft startup. I must tell you, right at the beginning, we actually, in how can I say this, in actually testing and field testing this really uh, revolutionary product that's going to make it easy for people to do all four of those things, we realized that it does not work with like a class A or a or a fifth wheel that has an automatic transfer switch. So aside from that, it's for everybody else. So Mike, I've sort of, oh, Mike's taking a break. <laughs> so, let me, so let me ask you this, uh, Doug. The, um, 
your your product. So you've gone from the, having the soft start that was installed. Yes. On the the RV. Right. To one now that is just uh, plug and play. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I've got one here right next to my desk, but I have to untake my wires. But I'll I'll grab one for you to show you. Basically, uh, a lot of RVers are very very handy, and they we rolled out the soft start initially to be able to reduce the inrush current on an air conditioner. That's what it does mechanically. But basically, when you re when you do that, you uh, enable the air conditioner to start and run with less less uh, amps, less wattage, et cetera, et cetera. Mike, you're back. I'm back. I, just, I was I had a frog in my throat. I had to go for the Dixie cup. Oh, yeah. There you go. No bourbon in it. Sorry, it's just plain old tap water. E eggnog is coming. Mm. I do like a good eggnog. Okay, so Mike, uh, I was trying to answer his question about really how we simplified everything for everybody. I mean, it okay. used to be, it used to, it takes about 20 minutes to do a, what we call a, an installation on the air conditioning compressor with five wires. But a lot of people wanted to be saying, you know, hey, I'm over 50 and I don't want to get on the roof or I don't feel that adventurous or I'm not electrical or I'm not technical. So no climbing on the roof, no wiring, uh, just plug and play. We gave it to Mike to say, Mike, let's make sure this is absolutely tested. And Mike can tell you about the on and off cycling and testing and on and on and on. Please, Mike, am I leading this uh, or did you want to ask hey, a listen, question? I'm good. I can take, to say, take it away, Mike. Take it away. Yeah, let's, Mike, first of all, Mike, why don't you introduce yourself and tell the audience who you are and, you know, what you do? Let, let me give you the brief thumbnail. Okay. Um, you know, um, I've been writing for the RV industry for about 15 years now, but I have a, a 50 year professional background in everything electrical you could imagine. So back in the 70s, I started as a robotics and a packaging machine designer for Corning Glass. And then in the 80s, I worked for a government contractor. We built and calibrated nuclear guidance systems. And then in the 90s, I started my own computer company, and I was integrating all the banks into the National Reserves. And then in the 2000s, I started teaching about all of this other stuff. Um, and in the middle of all of this, I was a rock and roll sound guy the whole time doing shows from all A-list artists from everybody you could have possibly imagined. Back in the 70s, I was also a rock and roll guy with hair down to here, jumping through fireballs. So I have had a strange life, but, but uh, I, I love teaching about this stuff and teaching safety. And a few years ago, um, so I had uh, Doug and Brian come to me from Soft Start USA and say, we need somebody that can provide some testing. Can you provide some way that we can see how this soft start stuff really, really works? Um, and so I did. I came up with a really interesting uh, way to test for all of that that was that, that could uh, sample at 192,000 times per second at um, better than one part per million accuracy. That was just because I have a background in all of this. Um, and then they said, well, we, we would like you to do some more extensive testing. I said, um, I am the testing guy. I've been testing electrical stuff for 50 years. So uh, send me some stuff to try to break, which is to me like super, super fun. So this is where we started going through all these bits and pieces of this. So then um, at that point, Soft Start RV was already uh, a mature product. And that's the type that goes and mounts up on the roof on the air conditioner. I had to define what a hard start capacitor was, soft start capacitor and all that other kind of stuff. Um, when it came, they said, we've got this new idea for a product that's a plug and play version. You know, we're going to call it soft startup. Would you like to test it? And I said, I've got a lab here. You know, I'm retired from all of the crazy stuff, but I have the Funkworks lab on Funkstown Hill, right outside of Funkstown, Maryland. Can you <laughs> get the theme there you go. That going here? And so I started testing this stuff and I, I, I actually assisted with uh, feature sets and helping to check the algorithms and test this on all variety of conditions and, you know, do basically prototyping. So yeah, um, the, here's, so here's the, the key problem. Standard air conditioners, when they start up, have something we call inrush current. So this immense amount, the spike of current that lasts for uh, maybe a quarter of a second. 
Now, people somehow misthink that somehow the starting capacitor provides the energy to do that start thing. And they're just completely wrong. The starting capacitor just basically provides some phase shift to make a rotating magnetic field, a rotating flux field, right? But it's only engaged for about a quarter of a second or so. So during that first quarter of a second, that air conditioner can draw three times, four times as much amperage as the normal running current. So you can have an air conditioner that might want to pull 14 amps when it's running. I think can pull 40, 50, 60 amperes for a quarter of a second, only during the startup. And that's what trips circuit breakers that are close to the edge. And it makes generators that are running, you know, the inverter generators makes them shut down. It's that little trip. So now basically the soft start products, what they do is they lengthen the starting time oh, maybe to a half to three quarters of a second while reducing the peak of it. So now you can have something instead of drawing 50 amps of current for that inrush cycle, maybe only as 25 amps. And so basically what that allows you to do is you, your air conditioner has a better chance of operating on smaller generators and on say 30 amp services. And of course, the real issue is that not all generators are not created equal. And some people don't understand. They think that this makes power. This does not make power. I tried to build a perpetual motion energy machine in my basement when I was eight years old. And I actually hooked it into the fuse panel. And it did not work at the time. It just blew a bunch of fuses. My parents came running down. They were scared to death. They told me no more perpetual motion machine experiments. <laughs> so I know, I know what, but this is, this, this is, does not make energy. This does not reduce the running power that you're, you're doing. All this does is it stretches out that, that first startup peak so that it doesn't overload the circuits. Perfect. So, and I think that's the key. I mean, you, you went into a lot of detail and I know you're probably talking over my head as you were probably talking over a lot of people's head. But bottom line is it gives you the ability so that when you're turning these systems on, that it's not ramping up to that peak. Right. It's more of a gradual. It's a more of a gradual. When I say gradual, it's only a half a second or so. You hear them when they thump. You know, when an air conditioner comes on, you hear them go thunk. That thunk is that peak. One of the one of the byproducts of the soft stack technology is instead of going thunk, it kind of goes whoosh. So it actually, it's like a transmission in a car. It's like a power glide. Instead okay. of just revving up the engine and popping the clutch, which is what a normal compressor does, it's like you've got a uh, automatic transmission and a torque converter and you just step on the gas. And it is okay. whoosh like that. And that's really the difference. Well, that's awesome. So now, now how long has this product been around? Talk to Doug with the, this is, um, you mean soft start up or soft or the soft yes. start in general? Soft start. So, cause I know that the soft start in general has been around for years. It That's started right. in the boating. It started in the boating industry. Is that correct? And then transitioned to the RV. Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> in 2010, I rolled out the first soft start for Dometic. Uh, and it was called the smart start. And I rolled that out Marine, uh, I rolled that out into the marine industry in 2010, and then it wasn't until 2017 that the technology was, people had been using it, but it was finally marketed uh, in 2017 with the going into the RV industry. Uh, in fact, years and years and years ago, there used to be a soft start that was installed on air conditioners, but because of the battle between major air conditioning manufacturers uh, on that scale, they took out the soft start capability. So since that time, they now brought it back because of course people are now doing what? They're going to campgrounds that are state campgrounds or, or national campgrounds. I even had a guy yesterday call me. He said, you know what? I think that the soft startup would be really a good fit for us because we're going to Alaska and sometimes they only have only 30 amp and some places they only have 15. So the ability to use, in fact, I, I went and got it out of the box. This is it. This is uh, the plug and play soft start up technology. So it's 50 amp and we include with it a uh, 30 amp uh, a 
adapter so it'll plug into a 30 amp bolt. But basically it's all set up and rigged, ready to go. It has a little uh, safety lock on it. You plug in your surge protector into your power pole and then you plug in the stuff start up. Well, so now you just sh now you're showing one that's a 50 amp going to 30, but you also have one that you can plug into 30 amp. Well, correct? there's an adapter. We have an adapter. So we plug in an adapter from the 50 okay. to 30. That's an, uh, so one of the things I should note, yeah. if you have a 50 amp RV and you're plugging into a 30 amp service, your two air conditioners will be, each air conditioner will be on a separate leg because you know, 50 amps services two legs. So this process is the two legs separately. So when you plug mm -hmm. it into a 30 amp thing, the one air conditioner starts, it processes that. And then when the other one air starts, it processes that. So it keeps them separate on the on the other side of it, which is the, the really the right way to make this work. Okay. Okay. So what we what you were asking me is when did we launch it? Well, we did a lot of field testing in June and July. And then August 1st was really when we really uh, had the version where Mike had put it through. I don't know if what was it uh, a thousand uh, start and stop uh, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and hundreds to my poor neighbors were like sitting there looking at me. And why do you have all these air conditioners stacked up behind your right. shop? So uh, gotcha. After, and we wanted to be able to test. Now, you remember during the summer, it was 85, 90, over 100 degrees in some places. And people don't understand a lot of things, but it doesn't really, uh, all those things do affect how your air conditioner is going to work, whether you're at sea level or whether you're at 4,000 feet, your, your uh, generator. Generators. You want to tell that story about generators so people have that piece of information? Yeah, just give you a real quick thing. As you take a generator and you go up in altitude, they start losing power. Just because, uh, remember, cars used to be you'd have to change the jets, you know, when you get over 5,000 feet. Once you get up to that size, you can lose 10 or more percent of power of wattage from your generator. And then the second thing they do is they like to run them on propane. Propane has much less energy density than gasoline. So you lose another 10 or so percent. So you can easily be down 20, 25% if you're trying to go run a, a, a dual fuel generator at altitude um, off of propane. And so this is where they say, I can, I can get this thing started, but I can't keep them running. And that's because it's not the fault of the soft start technology. It's the fact that the, you're up in altitude. You know, you've, you've moved up, as it were. Um, and this happens with all, all, all things out there. So mostly well, what we've done since August, and we're just really in the first 100 days here, right? We're, we're now uh, uh, approaching the... Black Friday and, uh, you know, the holidays, we see uh, a lot of case studies coming back to us that are, and we have them on our website that help educate people on things about how to use a, a soft start with a generator. It's just basically everybody that has a generator, if you're an experienced RVer, you know, when you go up at an altitude, you've got to, you know, uh, improve your jets. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, you, you modern modern generators you really can't reject very easily. It's just oh. that you have to accept the fact that you've got less power at higher altitudes. So, Although yeah. some of them you can get rejetting kits well, for yeah, Hondas there was a and such, but you got to rejet them. I mean, so yeah. I'm not sure about all the other manufacturers, but yeah. 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 So, but 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 people have got to just you've got to do power management a bit because you just don't have the basically limitless power that's coming into your house. So we, we talk about power management. I think that might be a, a subject for even a much deeper dive with you uh, sometime in the future, Paul, because people are entering, let's take a typical uh, person that is buying an Airstream, right? I mean, right. whoa, they're excited. And, you know, probably... I'm not involved with uh, Airstream sales or anything, but you know, the one of the things they're going to say, well, what do you plan to do with your RV? Oh, well, I plan to go uh, to Alaska, like I was telling about that story before, or I plan to be uh, using a solar package, or I plan to be using uh, a, uh, a generator package, or I'm going to be mostly in parks, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you have an application for each one of those. And, you know, it, to us, we know 
that if they don't have soft starts on their air conditioners, they're going to need them if they're going to do any of the things that we're talking about. So instead of installing it on the air conditioner, now you could just plug and play. So well, you, all... you mentioned Airstream. Airstream already puts the soft starts on the mo on the air air conditioners. Oh, that's good. So so, so they they have it on that, but uh, anyway. So but if you have most... an older one, you do not, and that's the Correct. thing. Some of them are just starting to do this, and mm -hmm. many of the manufacturers have, have now bit the bullet to install these on the new ones because people are demanding them. Yeah. Right. But it didn't used to be that way. Yeah, you're right about that. Millions of those things out there um, that yeah. really desperately need this. And this, I will note that this will not work. Um, you can't combine this technology so you, with uh, with the ones that are built into the air conditioners. It's just too much reduction in starting current. So if it's you got to pick one or the other. Either you've got the ones mounted inside of the air conditioners or you do the plug and play, but not both. Great point. And I think that uh, people need to be aware of that. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. So, so, so this product, the smart, uh, the soft start up just started this within the last hundred days. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, we correct. finished all the field testing. We felt like, uh, uh, we're now, uh, we're getting a lot, a lot more, uh, case studies. We're trying to talk to everybody because what we've uncovered is that we now are going to have to have a product for the class A's and the automatic transfer switches because one product won't just deal with it. Because if you have a solar rig mm -hmm. and you just want to do just everything from your inverter and your batteries, or if you have a class A rig that has a big generator in there or a big fifth wheel that has a big onboard generator, the uh, soft startup technology would have to be installed by a dealer. It's not a plug and play product. It would have to go Very inside. Sure. And we could certainly, uh, when we have that, we don't have that, we have the prototype for that because that's what we've uncovered over the last, you know. Prototypes already out getting filmed. It's right there makeup. You go little lighting, little glam lighting, you know how that goes. Thank you. So, uh, so Doug, uh, if anybody was interested in getting this product, uh, where, you know, do you have it on Amazon or is it just on your website? What, how would they go about getting it? Okay. We, at this point, we do not have it on Amazon. Uh, we have it on our website. In fact, we okay. created a special page for your listeners, uh, it's right. softstartup.com slash the Air Force guy, just like it sounds. And maybe you could put it on the screen. But basically, uh, we will offer your listeners a $100 discount on that special landing page off the retail price. That okay. way, uh, I, I mean, I, I want to spread the news. and uh, Okay. It's a heck of an offer. Yeah. You know? I think I'm glad. Thank you. Certainly. So, all right. So I'll have that link down below, folks, whether you're listening on on a streaming service or whether you're watching this on YouTube, just check below uh, and you will see a link to that with that. Uh, so you'll be able to go ahead and take advantage of that discount. OK, so, Doug. So the people that are listening here today, I know you're given this special discount, one hundred dollars. That's very generous. Yeah. What period of time do. Uh, do people have to take advantage of this? Because obviously this is going to go on forever, right? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, how about we give an extended offer all the way to December 31st? Call it January 1. Perfect. Beautiful. And just so, in time for Christmas, you get a little extra yeah. Christmas money. Right. You're in, That's man. Good. Tell you. So, folks, you know, you, you heard it here. I'll tell you, and it's a great product. All you do is and I'll have this thing on down below the video or below this video or below the uh, podcast here, this link, you can just go on and you can take advantage of that special offer and uh, go ahead that way there. Then it saves you the problems that maybe you have had in the past. So I do appreciate Doug and Mike. I do appreciate you guys coming on here today and, and sharing this information. It's definitely something that's needed for people to hear because I know I get those questions all the time. So thanks again. And folks, stay tuned because we'll be back again next week. Same time, same bat channel.